Hey, stop eating the chocolate chips. Sorry, I just they're so good. <laughs> Alrighty, hello everybody. So today we're gonna be doing a recipe video. We haven't done a recipe video in a really long time, it feels like, like over a month, since we've been in Australia at least. Um, and everyone's been asking me to do more recipe videos and I definitely will be. This is the first of many here. And today we just felt like making some pancakes, so I thought why not show you guys a really simple, easy and tasty recipe for some pancakes. So these pancakes that we're gonna make are definitely oil free. Um, we're not gonna make them gluten free today, but if you wanna make them gluten free, all you have to do is sub in gluten free flour for the all purpose flour that we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna make my own version of pancakes. Kyle's really excited for pancakes, and Kyle's gonna make his own version. What kind Wait, are you gonna What one make? are you making? I'm making blueberry lemon pancakes today. Blueberry lemon, I think I'm gonna make chocolate chip. Of course, because you're sitting there munching on the chocolate chips. <laughs> so, let's get into the recipe. Chocolate peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter pancakes. Okay, so first we're gonna make the chia eggs. You need two chia eggs for this recipe, so I have two tablespoons of chia seeds. I have six tablespoons of water here, and then we're just gonna mix it together, and you got chia egg. And then you're just going to set that aside and let the chia seeds activate. So next I've got two cups of, you can use any plant-based milk that you want, but we're using coconut milk. And I'm going to add in the juice of one lemon. The reason why I'm adding lemon juice to the milk is so the milk kind of, the, the lemon juice curdles the milk a little bit and it gives the pancakes a little bit of a nicer texture and it kind of makes it almost like buttermilk. I learned this when I was working at the vegan restaurant and it's so awesome. It's really cool. So you can see it already like curdling a little bit. Mm. Look at that. That's gross. Looks gross, but works well. <laughs> I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of maple syrup. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Oops, that was a little more. <laughs> and that's all of our wet ingredients that we need. For the flour, we just have this huge bag of Bob's Red Mill all-purpose flour. It's Bob's Red Mill is like the bomb, not sponsored, but yeah. So that's the flour that we're using. And then I'm going to add in some baking powder and baking soda. And I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt. Salt is bare. <laughs> and then this is what your chia egg should sort of look like. They're all kind of like stuck together. Add that into the mixture. It's good if you can let your batter sit a little bit longer because um, then the chia seeds will get even more jelly. So I'm gonna let that sit for like five minutes. And stop filming. People are gonna miss me. They're gonna be like, where was Kyle that whole recipe? It was a quick recipe. It was a quick recipe, I'm guys. I'm sorry, I should have let you mix some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I was just so into it. Look, mixy mixy. Look, you did it. I did it. <laughs> I made the pancakes, guys. I don't really know how many pancakes this makes, but I'll wait for it to heat up, too. There is flax egg on the corner of That's the table. Chia. chia egg. I should put that in the... You need all the chia seeds you can possibly get. It's not a perfect recipe if you don't get all the chia seeds in there. Do I put the chocolate chips in like, I know when to put them in actually. <laughs> they go in your mouth first, right? <laughs> I'm scared. 
scared for what? These don't look, these look so liquidy. But they Star. look amazing. Tip for when making pancakes. I feel like everybody in the world knows this, but you want to wait till your pancakes have like a ton of bubbles on them and the outside of the pancake is like kind of dried out a little bit. Almost so like the top shouldn't look liquidy at all. It should be like matte, if that makes any sense. Cause I'm a professional chef and you know, I'm really good at making pancakes. <laughs> Stop eating them. You're not gonna have nom, any to put in your pancakes. <laughs> not enough bubbles. Not enough. Right. Babe. Um. <laughs> you know, first pancake never turns out well. That was the practice round. Mm. <laughs> You just needed to let it cook on the one side a little bit longer. Oh my God, there's a huge bee in here. Really? Go back outside. Okay. Don't go outside. Save the bees, people. Don't kill bees. If there's a bee in your house, do not kill it. Save it and put it outside. <laughs> if the bees die, we all die. Where the heck did he go? I think I got him. I think I got him. Now let Mr. Bee go now. And that's how you save a bee, everybody. <laughs> This isn't just a recipe video. Right, We're giving you life right. tips. <laughs> number two, people. Let's see if it's better than the number one. Bam. Why do you flip it over like that? Just the other side looks, like. looks nice. Chocolate chips are burnt. Because I need to put the chocolate chips in it right away. God. You, you put got the chocolate chips in it right away, man. Okay. Two times. This is the this is your third shot. All right. Okay. You got to put the chocolate chips in right away this time. I will. Third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. My pancakes are going to be better. Yeah, they are. Let's have a vote in the comment section. Yeah. Do you want blueberry pancakes? No, blueberry lemon pancakes. Or chocolate peanut butter pancakes. I mean, they're both good. This isn't really a competition. <laughs> Hempy heartsies. Hempy heartsies. Take some extra chocolate chips. And voila. <laughs> Is that even a word, voila? A no, voila. it's voila. Voila. There you go. Ah, voila, mes amis. This is a little blueberry sauce that I made. Blue. I think they call it like comp. Compote, compote? I have no idea, I'm not a chef. But I just used um, some frozen blueberries, some maple syrup, and some lemon juice, and then I just simmered it on the stove until it became this nice little like blueberry jam. Anything else? Ooh, fancy. Too oh. Low. I oh. think I got you beat with oh. the little lemon spirals. Oh. You just whipped out the lemon spirals and just made your mark for first place. Okay, Maddie took Blueberry first. sauce and lemon spirals. I think I won. Yeah, I think you did, <laughs> Peanut butter chocolate chip going in. 
Mm. Good? You need like a glass of milk. No! Mm. I ate my hair. Mmm! Wow. Oh, mine are really good. <laughs> mine's better. Mm-mm. <laughs> oh, mine are so good. That blueberry like jam stuff on top, so good. Everybody yours. I want peanut butter on it. Do you like it? Not as much as mine. <laughs> of course not. Mine's chocolatey and fatty. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Mine are definitely way more light. Mmm. These are really good though. And these pancakes are more like thin. They're not like super like fluffy, like mm -hmm. thick pancakes. But, woo, there's so many different recipes for pancakes. Like you can make pancakes so many different ways. I think we both like our pancakes more thin. Yeah, I love them thin. But, you yeah. can just stack them so it's like you're eating a big pancake. Yeah. It's kind of cool how this recipe video kind of turned out into a little friendly competition. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> to see which one's better. Um, let us know. Well, which go, ones that you would make. Go and, try, go and try and make both of these and then let us know what you think. But I already know people like peanut butter and chocolate better than blueberry. Am I right? Well, or am I, I right? I like am them, I right or am I right? I like them both, but it just depends mm -hmm. on like what you're feeling. If you yeah. want something like heavier and like more of a treat. Like this tastes fresh and light. Mine tastes sugary and fatty. And... It's like more of like a treat yeah. style pancake. I could definitely see myself being in the mood for some fresh light um, pancakes, but mm -hmm. for most of the time I'm always craving something like... <laughs> Fatty, sugary, chocolatey. I think everybody knows that already. <laughs> I'm almost done already. Alright guys, so the pancakes were a hit, clearly. Mm. I definitely liked mine better. <laughs> that was today's recipe video. We're still kind of getting in the swing of making recipe videos again. But if you guys have any suggestions of any other recipes or any meals you'd like us to create or come up with, let us know in the comments down below because we're going to be making lots more recipe videos now that we're back home. If you make this recipe, let me know in the comments down below and take a picture and post it on Instagram and tag me and show me. I love when you guys do that because it's just so cool to like see people making the recipes that we make and um, hearing what you guys thought about them. My internet fam. Internet family. Let's, is the best fam. Let's interact. Snap the picture of your pancakes. Post her on Instagram. Or tag her in the picture on Instagram. Let us know how they work. Yeah. What he said. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to finish these pancakes because they're so freaking good. Bye. Bye. <laughs>